ticket. <laughs> okay guys, we are at Disneyland. Jessica's here. So let's see what rides we're gonna start off with or what we're gonna do first. Oh my gosh, there's so much excitement going on. We don't know what to do. So I guess first on the list is Tomorrowland. Matterhorn, oh my gosh. Ah, so exciting. resulted. <laughs> By the way, that's me if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Here's the turkey leg after. It's a little bit uh, destroyed. I feel bad. <laughs> you feel bad? Guys, like both of us just did this. It's just, we, it, just we like pulled things. it apart. Like, yeah. pulled it apart. So this is the jumbo turkey leg right next to the chimichanga. It was absolutely phenomenal and I think everyone should try it. It's just, oh my god, it's so great. It's messy, but definitely worth it. Still get Starbucks at Disneyland? Yes. That's how we roll. We have to get Starbucks, always. Let's check out this cookie I got. So cute. I feel like I've had this a long time ago. And it's cheaper than all the other cookies. <laughs> Took this photo on Snapchat, thought it was cute. It is not a trip to Disneyland without a picture with the castle. Photo break, so cute. The ride went so fast that your hair came out. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Holding the hair in the bathroom. Trying these 
Knitted Nikki shaped beignets, baguettes, <laughs> vignettes, and this mint and julep. The mint and julep is absolutely delicious. You have to try it. Look at our giant cotton candy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so big. And we got some goodies here. Those are surprises. Ours in the background. I'm gonna post that in the middle. So here's a picture I took of the cotton candy. It was average, nothing special. And these are pictures I took with the cotton candy that I really, really liked. And I ended up posting one of them on my Instagram. Waiting for the fireworks to start. We've been standing here for so long. Oh my gosh, so tired. This is going to be the outro for the Disneyland vid. It is currently Thursday, and I went to Disneyland on Monday. So I wanted to really talk about my Disneyland trip and so like things about it. I wrote down in my planner some notes on what to cover. I actually literally did. Look at this. These are notes of what to cover for this outro. So first off, I would like to say that I got as much footage as I could for all the rides. I went on a bunch of rides, but in the video there's only a couple. It was very dark in some of the rides, so I wasn't able to film it. And I also wanted to have fun. Like, I didn't want to be holding a camera the whole time yet. But I would like to say that my favorite ride there, my all-time favorite, it also had a pretty long line. It was Indiana Jones. It was like an actual roller coaster. You were in a car, and you went like, sh sh sh. you are like moving around, and like turning in weird ways, going big drops, they were sudden, it was a lot, a lot of fun, and it was fast, and you never knew what was coming next. Also, the clips that were in the video with the sidebar, like the side black bar, were from my Snapchat, that's why they looked that way. I know some people get so cringed out about them, but I was like, hey, I really enjoyed what I snapped, and I thought you guys should see it too if you don't have me on Snapchat. So these would be my recommendations for Disneyland if you plan to go. I would suggest going on a Monday, getting there really early like when the park opens and you'll be able to get done so many rides. I would suggest doing all the ones that usually towards the middle of the day get really long lines. Do those immediately. So these are items that I ate there or drank there and that I really recommend. The jumbo turkey leg is absolutely delicious. Like I said, you have to try it. It is a must. It's huge. I shared it with my friend Jessica. The next thing I would suggest is getting a mint julep. It's absolutely amazing. It just has this so refreshing taste. Like all day I was looking for a refreshing drink, you know. I got some iced tea, but it was like basic standard iced tea, nothing Disneyland special. But then I came across the mint julep. 
and then I was like, hmm, this looks really refreshing. So I got one, and it was, it was so good. I wish I had another one. I wish I could just go out and get one right now. It was delicious. You have to get it, because it's like 95 degrees at Disneyland, by the way. Along with the mint julep, I got some Mickey bin beignets. They're donuts. They're like these homemade donuts that are Mickey-shaped with powdered sugar, and you get them at the same place you get the mint julep. So you can actually get both at the same time, which is what I did, and both were amazing, delicious. I got a bunch of different taffy, put it in a bag, and I gave it to Nathan. I didn't get any taffy. I didn't try it, but Nathan told me it was absolutely amazing, and he wished he could have more. So yeah, I'm take his word by it and say you should get the taffy. So I ended up getting a bunch of things from Disneyland, but some of those things i gave to nathan so i don't have those with me because he has them they were cookie the taffy and this little um porg that's what it is it's called a porg the bird little bird from star wars i got him a little porg so that's his so this is what i got for myself i was obsessed with him this is the little ewok from star wars i'm obsessed with the ewoks i always have since i was little and i kept picking this guy up i went into every disney store and every time i went in one i picked him up and my friend jessica was like you really love him you should get him and i was like really and then she was like yeah you obviously really like him like you keep picking him up so i was like you know what it's meant to be so i got him little star wars he's so cute i sleep with him every night he's my little ewok and they're so fluffy i highly suggest you guys to get stuffed animal from there or stuffed something it's just they're so cute and they just feel so i don't know something about it it's just having a stuffed animal from disneyland is amazing and so cool there is also a sweater i really wanted to get there and just got really wanted to get a sweater there the sweaters are so cute though hopefully i'm planning to buy one of the sweaters online on the disneyland site you can buy the like sweaters online i checked that a lot of the sweaters i saw there were on the website the one i wanted was this yellow kind of retro one if i find the picture i will show it to you right here and yeah there's actually a gray one that I really liked and she really liked it. But then I went online and I was like, oh, I found this retro one that is totally me. So I ended up really liking that one. Anyways, overall, it was a really fun experience and there's just so much to do. It's such a happy place. It's literally the happiest place on earth, like they say. Jessica and I also posted photos on Instagram. This is going to be my photo. Definitely go like it up, a comment and follow me if you want to. And it's going to be Jessica's photo definitely like her photo comment on it and follow her if you want to i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was really fun to make and obviously really fun to be there so i guess this is goodbye for now